Hello and welcome to this review for the game Pendulum. Very, very quickly before we start, at this moment today I just got 600 subscribers and I'm very happy about that. It could go away if someone decides to unsubscribe. You're free to do that, but uh, please don't. So, thank you. Let's get to it. Pendulum by Stonemeyer Games. They were very friendly enough to send me a copy and see what my opinion on the game is. Stonemeyer is very clear in the instructions. If you don't like the game, don't pretend as if you do like it just because you're grateful that you got a copy uh, for free. If you don't like it, say it that you don't like it. Luckily for them, I'm sort of easily pleased <laughs> as a gamer in general, uh, although I'm not happy about everything, but uh, yeah, I, I can see the good in the game quite quickly. In the case of Pendulum, I didn't know anything about it except that it was a Stonemeyer game and that it some sort of theme with time, uh, but with a title like Pendulum, it, I don't expect it to be about dinosaurs. So, uh, all I knew was that it got it gets sort of an okay-ish score on Board Game Geek. It gets a 6.6, .6, which is a good score, but most games that are really loved among the gaming community get at least a 7. That's like a game that you're happy to play over and over. Um, so I was expecting Pendulum to be okay, but maybe not that interesting. Well, I was surprised. <laughs> so, spoiler alert to the end of the review on my opinion, I'm, I like this game a lot. Really a lot. I was very happily surprised. So, first let's deal with the material, uh, the box, the components, everything. If you're interested in seeing how everything looks or how the game is played, feel free to look at one of my other videos that I made of it. Um, yeah, that shows everything and how to play it. Uh, so, I've, with Stonemeyer games, I've come to expect two things: uh, that the components will be good, and if there is a problem, uh, this is what, the, one of the few companies where in the rule book it says very clearly. If anything is missing, if something isn't right, send us a message. There's a special form just for missing components or broken components, so you can solve it just like that. Uh, nothing here was missing or broken, it was fine as it was. The second thing I always expect from Stonemeyer Games is that it's practical. The box is made in such a way that uh, you can store stuff in it. Uh, since I store my games, as you can see, mostly upright, uh, I do use the bags, but this came with bags. There were bags provided that you can put stuff in so that things don't fall out. Uh, the rule book is always, they always seem to be written in such a way that it's very clear to learn the game. With Pendulum, I was actually, the first time I browsed through it, because that's how I learn games first, I browsed through it, through it and I tried to find where it says, how do you win the game, when does the game end? I want to know that first. Here, I was having trouble with that. So I thought, oh, for the first time, Stonemeyer has a rule book that maybe isn't all that well written. Well, then I went back to the start. I started properly reading it. Perfectly clear. And whenever you thought, oh, well, but what happens when this happens? It doesn't say, well, it skip to the next page. When you get to the next page, it will be there, it will be written. So again, great job, good material, nice components, nice looking components, uh, and very well written rule book. Uh, maybe just the, uh, the the game comes with player mats, every player can choose a character. The structure of the player mat maybe was, uh, I maybe there are some people who will have a problem with it. It felt a little bit like sandpaper. Um, but yeah, maybe that's to make it a bit more rigid because you do place cubes on them and you don't want stuff to, uh, you put markers on them as well. You don't want stuff to slide around. Maybe they made it a bit coarse to make sure it doesn't slide all over the place, but it's a minor thing. So the game itself, like I said, it gets a okay-ish score on Board Game Geek. So I wasn't expecting that much. I thought I, well, it's probably one of those games that it's okay, but 
Hmm. There are nicer things out there. Turns out the reason why this game doesn't get a, a huge score is because there are hourglasses in the game. It's a, it's a worker placement game where you take one of your own people and put it on the board and you get the reward for whatever it says on the space where you put your person. Pendulum is a worker placement game, but in this case it comes with hourglasses that decide where you can and can't put your figures and when you can and cannot perform the action. Just reading the rulebook already made me completely in the mood to play this game. I wasn't put off in any way. I didn't think it was going to be chaos. I thought this is going to be fun. Uh, it, I mean, it might be chaos, but a fun, chaotic situation. No player has uh, their own turn. You don't have to wait until it's your turn. It's your turn the whole time. As long as time is ticking, you do whatever you want to do. And at the same time, everyone at the table is also doing what they want to do. Yes, it can sound chaotic. It, it sounds like it might be a mess, but it wasn't. The rule book keeps stressing over and over, don't stress. They keep repeating it in the rule book. They say, don't stress, relax, enjoy the game, don't worry about things, don't worry. If, if the first few times you play it, you might, especially the first time you might make a, a mistake or something, don't worry about it, it's okay, it's just a game. It's meant to be enjoyed, it's meant to be fun. And, um, I played it like that, but I can understand that for some people it might not be so easily to be simply be told don't stress because they will stress anyway. Um, but then I don't think it's really fair that you blame the game and give it a lower score than you would normally have if you had enjoyed it. So and a very important thing is if, if you've played it with the timer with the hourglasses and you still don't like it. The game comes with the option to not play it with the hourglasses and you do get a single turn every time and that's still exactly by the rules that's how the game is designed so i don't see the problem and i definitely don't think that 6.6 .6 that pendulum gets right now on board game geek is a very fair score it deserves to be at least a seven and uh, for me, it's a seven and a half, maybe, uh, well, I'll see how often uh, it, uh, there's already a few plays coming up and also with different people and I'll see how that goes because I enjoyed it. I I was relaxed, I did not stress and I la the game made me laugh out loud just it being in that situation where I'm thinking, oh, God, what do I do? And at the same time, seeing the people around me also being like, oh, oh, oh time is running out. But oh, 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 I couldn't. I wanted to place it there, but I realized I can't because the hourglass is there. I thought it was funny. I thought it was really hilarious. And it, I mean, it's not a party game at all. It's just a really fun worker placement game. Um maybe say something that's a, a little less positive but i don't it's still not negative as you can see it's it looks quite epic it looks uh, very fantasy because that's the theme this game takes place in a land where <laughs> there's a whole lot going on you can see the rule book it has a full story on the page lovely really nice but when you're actually playing the game, the theme doesn't pop out. It's not like you feel like you're in the story. Um, so that's the only thing for me that I would say it might even be interchangeable. You could make some sort of wacky... You are visiting a, 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 a clock factory and all of a sudden you uh, things are out of whack and whatever uh you come up with something uh so i don't mind this theme at all i think it looks really nice uh it's just when you're playing it it doesn't really uh, you're not in the story um uh, and that's for me that's okay because i'm not uh, this is not a game that's uh you're not a, it's not a role-playing game it's a worker placement game so 
yeah, um, what else can I say about it? Uh, again, if, if you have played this game and you disagree with me, uh, yeah, uh, I'd say ask yourself, did you blame the game or uh, d d did you genuinely think, yeah, okay, I got the game, uh, I played it as it was meant to be played, but it just wasn't my thing. I tried it with the hourglasses, I tried it without the hourglasses. If you still don't like it, then that's what it is. Uh, not every game can be a winner in everyone's opinion. Uh, but if you did play it and basically gave up a bit too quickly, maybe give it another chance and see if you maybe want to bring up the rating that you first gave it uh, when you gave it a score. If you don't know it, well, now you're prepared. It is a game that is a time set. It's a real time game. That's what they call it because you're playing while time is taking away. You have this much time until the round finishes. And then there are even two hour, two other hour glasses, uh, which again, in the rules, it says if time has run out on those hour glasses and no one notices straight away, it's fine it's okay don't worry about it it's not against the rules um it's not even against the rules to uh not flip the hourglass when you do see that it's uh, run out of time but uh the rules also said you might think uh it's gonna be chaos but there will be moments where you've done all that you can and you're just sitting there waiting for the hourglass with the shortest amount of time to actually run out. And we did! We ran into that situation. The, 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 we, I was with four players the first time I played it, uh, and the, the shortest hourglass, the black one that has only 45 seconds worth of sand in it, it was still going and all four of us at the table were just uh, happily waiting for those few last bits to uh, go away because the other ones uh, that were still there they were still going and they're longer anyway so yeah that's another thing the rule book was exactly correct in predicting if you play it relaxed you will it will not be chaos you will actually be waiting for time to go a little quicker um so yeah that uh, i think that's a result of the many playtesting they did with this uh game um, so yeah, there's absolutely nothing else for me to say about it. I enjoyed it so much. I think it deserves a good open first chance. I think it deserves a good second chance in case you've already tried it and maybe didn't like it, uh, but you only played it once or twice. Give it another go. See, and, and try both. Try it with the hourglass. And if you still don't like that, try it without the, uh, with the time sensitive element. It's fine. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Two big thumbs up for Pendulum from me. I enjoyed it so much. It looks nice. Uh, it, it, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, that's it for me. Let me know in the comments if you agree or if uh, you disagree or maybe even if you've not tried the game and tell me how it sounds. Uh, just based on my description and maybe based on my how to play videos what impression you get from the game so uh yeah i do hope everyone gives it a chance and i especially hope to see that board game geek rating go up let's make it a seven for pendulum fingers crossed we'll see how where it goes anyway thank you for watching this review uh, review and always feel free to leave a comment for anything else uh, just keep it board game related, please. Uh, <laughs> and uh, hope to see you for the next one.